What's up? Welcome back to Tax Ring Television. This is Blaze Thompson. We're here today to look at our workout, A Vicious Vision. Warm up number three for this workout. Check our warm up section on the website if you don't know what warm up number three is. Remember, this is just a guide for these exercises. It is not a tell all be all. We got some advanced techniques today in this programming. I want you to come in, learn how to do it right if you're uncomfortable with anything I do. Very simple workout though. One minute of a handstand, one minute of an L sit or a V sit. You alternate back and forth on those two moves for 10 minutes. You'll perform 50 thrusters and then you do an 800 meter run. You run the same circuit again with the handstands and the L sit or V sit, whichever one you're capable of doing. Next time you do 50 pull ups, then you finish with an 800 meter run and you're done. Simple in form and idea, difficult in function, hard to do. All right, so. I'm just going to show you kind of the top level of these things for today and if you have questions you're going to need to come in and see us. All right. First thing you want to do is protect your neck on these exercises. So you're going to need to put down some sort of soft pad to protect your head. Okay, so the advanced version of the handstand you would stand back, take a look at where you're going, preferably you got you know, a good flat wall. I'm going to try to be real dainty and graceful here with this glass behind me. You're going to take a big step, plant the... Straight line, lock out those shoulders, keep the head up, and hold that handstand. All right? You will hold that for one minute, and then you'll alternate and switch to an L sit. All right, next we're looking at our L sit. I've kind of got some makeshift dip bars here. What I've done is just put two spin bikes close together. Uh, but for the L sit, you know, a very gymnastic move here. You're gonna push up to straight arms. You wanna bring your legs out straight shh, and try to hold them in position. You will try to hold that for one minute. Now, if you have a real problem with the L sit, then you can bend your knees to make it a little easier. Or you can go to the floor and do a V sit instead. On the V sit, I want you to keep your chest elevated knees together, bring your arms up the same angle as your thigh, Shh. holding that position. Alright, so we just learned the V-sit. What you're going to do is alternate the, put, the handstand with the V-sit or the L-sit, one minute on one, one minute on the other for a total of 10 minutes. Then you're going to go perform 50 thrusters. Let's take a look. For thrusters, what I've done is I've set a big medicine ball on the floor. It's a target for me to try to hit with my butt. I want to go down and pick up the bar, take that butt down, chest out when I go down and grab it. Stand it back up. I want to clean the bar to my collarbone. Force those elbows out front. Big inhale on in my chest to help stabilize my core. Fill it up with oxygen. I come down, touch the ball with my butt. Pop those hips, shoot it over my ears. I want to see 50 of those thrusters. Way to specify it on the workout. Try to move with the heaviest weight you can, but that one set of 50 is going to be tough no matter which way you cook it. All right, as soon as you complete that first 10 minute segment of push ups, I mean, excuse me, of handstands and L sits, your 50 thrusters, you get an 800 meter run. Now you're going back to another alternating set of handstands and L sits. And this time around, I want to show you something on your handstands. If you start to wear out, you can't do the flip up in the first place, then a different way to learn your handstand is start on the floor with your hands and just walk up the wall with your feet. Back those hands up when you can. Work your way to your feet being over your head. It's also a little easier to get out of. But like I said, this is an advanced technique. If you're uncomfortable with this stuff, come in, let me teach it to you, okay? So for this one, you do one minute handstand, one minute L sit, back and forth, back and forth, and then you're gonna get 50 pull-ups in the end. Now, at these pull-ups, 50 is a lot. I do expect some kipping pull-ups. Let's take a look. With kipping pull-ups, you hold that bar, hand slightly wider than shoulder width. I've got my feet on the floor here to demonstrate exactly what we're doing. So I'm gonna rock forward to my toes, and I'm not pushing my hips forward as much as I'm pushing my head out. Come back, just get a few rocks in, and then on your way back, it's head forward, pull, pull. That's how you do it from the floor to learn the motion of the kipping pull-up. 
Now I'm gonna take my feet off the floor. I add a bit, a little, little bit of leg swing to it as well, which is gonna incorporate my abs. We're gonna go out to the high bar. So learn it on the low bar, getting the swing right. Let's check it out on the high bar next. Two, one. So quickly taking a look at our kipping pull up. I've showed you the setup indoors. Now I've got you on the high bar. I want you to see really how to do these full long slot style. So I get my good approach. I want to try to grip the bar with the whole part of my palm. You don't want just fingertips. You need to get a good wrap on this one. Get up, get your hands set nice. Create the swing by back forward. Notice my legs are working alternate of my head. And then it's up, forward, up, forward, up, forward, up. The more you push your head forward, the better momentum you're gonna use. And then you learn how to snap those abs, pushing those feet forward to shoot you up to the bar. A kipping pull up is not straight up and down. It's forward, back, and to the bar. The back almost takes you up in the letter C and then you do a row to the bar. So it's not just down and up, it's forward and around. In the second round, you do your handstands, your l sits, your 50 pull-ups, finished with an 800 meter run, and you've made it through a vicious vision. Thank you.